All right, welcome back. In uh, this session, we're gonna be doing our first operation for the second setup. So now that we have set up our part and a coordinate system for the second setup, we're gonna start by creating our operations and we're gonna start by doing the face milling operation. Okay, so we're gonna do in the facing. Let's go over here to operation, right click on that, add milling operation and then face. Now, for the first time you're using the coordinate system, you're gonna have to switch the coordinate system to system number two. Remember, we're using a new coordinate system. And then click on new. Okay, for that, let's go to define. And we're gonna click on our part right here to define our part, and then click on okay. So that will define the top surface where it's gonna start machining. Well, we're gonna off that, offset that for by a little bit to make sure that our tool, when it's machining, it goes a little bit over our defined part. So the offset's gonna be 0.25. Click on apply and you're gonna see that offset is created. Once you're done with that, click on okay. And let's go over here to tool. Now let's select our tool. Okay, we're gonna use the same facing tool, face mill, that we used in our first operation and it's gonna stay the holder for it, it's gonna stay there, and let's go to select. Okay, so I'm not gonna go over the holders with you, like I said, because every um, tool maker, every uh, user has different tools, different holders, and they all vary. So that's up to you to set up your correct tools and your correct holder. All right, let's go over here to level, and let's go to upper level. Now, for the upper level, we can select anywhere this line or this dot, anything that it can, that says that this is the top of our part. Now remember, I'm gonna select the side of the part real quick. Just to remind you, I added a quarter of an inch to the bottom of my part. But right now, that bottom of my part is the top of my part. So I actually have the most uh, block that I need to machine off in this uh, operation. And the reason why I did this is because I held my part using this section when I first machined here. So. Um, you want to be careful when you first set up, uh, you, at your first setup, you want the bottom to be, to have the most material so you have enough room to hold your part. You want to make sure that you have enough room to hold your part. Okay, but now that we have that on top, now we're holding the part basically over here and we need to machine the top surface of this part. So we need to make sure a good quarter of an inch. Okay, so now selecting the upper level, click on this line for example. And come over here to face depth and I'm going to click on this surface. Click on OK. All right. Now that you have that selected, come over here under technology. And we're going to keep the hatch, keep the minimum overlap to 30% and equal step over just like we did in exercise number one. Okay, let's do the floor offset to be 0 0.005 and finish. So our last finish operation is going to be 5 thou. Under hatch, let's go over here and select automatic, uh, automatic optimal angle, just like we've done in exercise number one. Come over here under link, and let's select tangent. We can keep that as 0.1, and then select lead out for the second operation, for the lead out. So lead in and lead out, they're gonna be the same. And then go to save and calculate. Go to simulate. And there you go. Now I'm going to slow it down a little bit so you can see what's happening. And it's going to come down. It's going to go one layer at a time. Now I did it pretty quickly. You can even slow it down more, but usually this facing operation gets done pretty quick. And there you go. You can tell it took almost half that stock that was here before. So if I press play again, you're going to see it took about half of it right there. So we know a quarter of an inch was machined off. Okay. If you want to verify the uh, paths, of the tool, you can go to host CAD, click on play, and you can see that's the tool path that the um, tool took. All right, click on X, click on exit, and that concludes our session for setting up the face mill operation for our second setup.